Hey designers, it's Quaker from Gridit. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use BaseGrid Generator. So BaseGrid Generator is an Adobe Illustrator extension that can generate any type of grid onto the artboard. So in Adobe Illustrator, if we wanna create a square grid, one way we can do is just this, which is command and comma. Another way is we can go to view and then show grid. And another way is just use a rectangular grid tool. All of these methods are very useful, very fast. The only issue is that it can be slightly faster. So with base grid generator, we can simply just select the square grid and click generate. Not only that, but we can even be faster and instantly turn it into guides. So now we can just create the logo straight onto the grid just by doing stuff like this. The same way we can do this for square grids, we can also, as we can do this for square grids, we can also do this for isometric grids. So isometric grids, the only way to do this in Adobe Illustrator is currently, you've probably seen several YouTube tutorials doing stuff like this. And then you will have to copy it and then rotate it think it's by like I don't know 60 um, and then you would do it again to the other side and you create isometric grid the issue with this is it does take some time doing even though it's a few seconds the time does add up not only that is it's not always 100% accurate as you can see this is not a perfect isometric grid and if you're not familiar with doing isometric grids over and over again you're not going to be the best at doing it but when you're creating logos you don't want to be focusing on tedious things like this so that's the isometric grid the manual version but with base grid generator we can now just select the isometric grid and click generate and when we click generate you can see a perfect isometric grid consistent and just instant so it does look small there what we can do now is go to scaling and increase the scaling for example to like 60 now we have bigger isometric grids. So if I wanted to create a logo, I can just do Command A to select all, and I can get the shape builder tool, and I can now just start creating a logo, something like this. And there we have a hey, very um, weird or simple logo. And then again, I can just simply do this, and then we can take this and like do like some cool stuff maybe like round the edges for a logo or something like that so that's a very simple way to create the grid another way is we can just do make guides and we make guides again we can just go to the pen tool and instantly draw directly on the guide to make the logo you might want to have smart guides on smart guides is the purple lines and words just to know that you're on the intersect and also you want to have snap to point to make sure it's on so you can see for example i didn't do this quite um, accurate so you want to make sure you, you're at a good distance i'm quite far from my from my monitor so um, you want to make sure you're at a good distance and you're snapping to every guide that you um, have created and now we have the hex grid. So the hex grid is another type of grid that designers probably don't use as much only because it's hard to actually create the grid. But when designers are making logos, there's multiple logos you've seen based from the hex grid. So now we can finally generate the grid and we can create um, cool different type of logos. So again, we can do select all and we can just do some cool stuff like this and possibly just make a logo again these are like very um simple type of logos but of course you can make something more um intricate and unique so that was pretty much the same um to create the hex grid same thing um, and again if we wanted to make guides we can just click make guides and it'll turn everything into guides now lastly we have the golden ratio so golden ratio is the only grid that has margin for golden ratio of course so if we was to generate this you can see how close the grid is to the edges but if we was to let's go if we undo this grid and if we was to increase it to like 70 for example we do generate you can see there's more, much more space around the edges so it's just based on your um, preference and 
how you would like to use a grid. And of course, you can just do make guides. So that's how you use base grid generator. This tool is included in the grid subscription. So when you subscribe to grid it, you get logo grid generator along with advanced features and also base grid generator. Being a subscriber means you get continual updates on both tools, not only that, but also new tools that come in the future as well. And we have a long list of tools that are coming that are right around the corner. So if you have any questions, please feel free to just drop them in the comments below. Have a great day and enjoy the tool.